हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू क्रिएट अ टे वन सर्वर ऑन लोकल मशीन लेट्स स्टार्ट इट हियर आई विल क्रिएट अ फोल्डर सपोज माय टे वन सर्वर नेम विल बी क्रिएट न्यू फोल्डर टी वन लर्निंग ओके इनसाइड दिस आई विल क्रिएट टू फोल्डर फॉर डेटा फाइल्स एंड सेकेंड वन इज लॉक फाइल्स वेयर आई वेयर ऑल लॉक लॉक फाइल्स विल बी रिसाइड्स ओके In data files, all the data files is Q file, dimension file, view, and all file will be saved. And here, I am going to use TMS CFG file. For that, I am going to use a existing TMS CFG file, where we will set all the required parameter. I am going to sample data samples. I am going to copy existing TMS CFG file. So I am going to go scorecard, copy this, and back to C folder. Here is my TMS learning. I am going to paste it. I I will make some changes in this file. This is same percent for true. Okay, data files. Here you need to set address of TMS data files address. so i am going to copy it and paste it here okay i need to set log files uh, data directory address so i am going log files okay copy it and paste it here okay and my server name will be tmon tmon learning okay i am going to edit it copy it inside i am going to open it okay my server name will be tmon learning okay and port number will be the same let's make some changes okay all set all parameter is is main set so i am going to save it control s now i need i will go I will cognos configuration, which is already I open it. Make it full. Click on T1 server. Create a new resource. T1 server instance. I am going to copy the same name which I created. It. Control C, paste it here, and OK. and here you need to set a trace of your t1 cfg file okay i'm going to redirect it to t1 cfg address of the t1 learning okay let's move on back back okay just this pc wait it will take time Mm-hmm. Let's do it again. Go back, go back, go back, go back. Here is the. on learning select it and click on select you need to select only this folder and click on select okay inside this automatic get uh, t1 uh, t1 cfg file okay click on test when i test it after testing you will see inside this folder 
log files here will be log some log, log file will be created t1 server log file will be created testing successful going to start it click on s here you will see t1 server log file will be created it is all checking is it's checking all the updates let it complete after it is complete uh, here you will see t1 server log file is starting here you will see t1s file and t1s server t1s event and t1 server here you will see how much time it will take within a 5 second my t1 server is ready to use okay and in t1s file in t1s uh, file all the transaction log will be saved and t1 event uh, in t1 event file you will see when your t1 server is ready and when t1 server is shut down and all detail will be saved in t1 event and also in t1 server okay let's close it uh, let me open t1 architect admin Apple password. I think I not saved anything. Blank password will be will be blank. Okay. Today uh, we learn how to create a T1 server. Okay. I hope you like like it, and you definitely learn how to create a T1 server. And next video I will. I I will show you how to uh, how to create a T1 server uh, where we will create a, a different uh, uh, for different uh, file for uh, for T1 uh, all dimension will be saved on uh, uh, separate folder and Q uh, file will be saved on different folder that will be create on next video till now. Let's close it. Please like and subscribe my channel. Thank you.